we've seen a lot of platforms with satellite imagery, um, drone imagery, all that sort of stuff. And data farming appears to be a very simple to use platform. We can save some time without having a whole lot of complicated steps to actually access it. The data farming platform is about turning something that is boutique to mainstream. So it enables agronomists to take that data and to be able to use it and apply it back to their farmers. We've got a network of 32 agronomists and I can see very real value in them in terms of using it as a, a tool to save them some time in the field. Simply because it's so accessible and so easy, it'll allow them to identify areas of the field that they need to target with crop scouting a lot, lot more easily and save a lot of time wandering around the field. So within one year, we've already got 6,000 farms in the system, which about 40,000 fields and over three and a half million hectares of, of processed data now to a field level. So uptake has been phenomenal. But we've also got some great user cases where agronomists have saved like 150 tonnes of gypsum, for example, from a simple image map. Even though our paddock average might be still five or six and a half tonne or something, you're looking at sections of it that are poor and sections of it that are extremely good. And that's what we're seeing. And then we're being able to go to those areas and go, well, what's going on here? Can we find the issue? Can we identify it? Or is it yet another mystery of what we do? I'd encourage all agronomists to log in, have a look. Access is free. There's no downside to having a look to see whether there's a benefit. Uh, and I think every agronomist that has a look, there'll be a very real benefit that'll be identifiable quite quickly. All you have to do is log on to our website. datafarming.com.au Anyone can sign up, upload their paddocks and farms as many as they want and they can see the data instantly.